evening. Um, though we are still, all of us were still in ECQ, and I, I believe right after the uh, the first uh, after the after the fifteen days, um, there's gonna be some changes on on how we conduct ourselves. And I think the government right now is massively sharing the idea about GCQ. I really don't have the fullest grasp up out of out of that, but um, I think um, they are looking at the, the best option possible, no? Na para tuloy tuloy makapaghanap buhay and at the same time not to compromise the safety as well, no? So let's just hope, no? Let's just hope and pray that everything will just turn out to be fine. Now I would like to congratulate all uh, all of us to have endured for the. For the past 30 days, no, from April 1 to April 30, this is the 30th day. So we have endured. I think everybody deserves a clap. And uh, it's not it's not so easy to really be stuck at home for the next 30 days. But I believe that all throughout the 30 days, we have learned a lot also. We, have, we were shared actually by a lot of developers by their projects. There are a lot of um, new developments as well. Now we have heard from Santa Lucia, we have heard from Black Residences, and many more. And I, I believe that the industry is really moving forward in spite of the difficulty we're facing. So we have we have a lot of session. We've got new people also down the line. Um, we've we've seen new faces, new names. In fact, I when I get to browse on the attendance every uh, every Zoom call. <clears throat> There are already names that I haven't met yet, but uh, looking forward that one day we could be able to meet each other in, in person, in the flesh. No, So there are new people coming from different places. Uh, we've got people from the other parts of the Visayas. We've got people from the parts of Luzon and in Mindanao. And that's the reason why, if you have noticed, uh, our presentation have shifted from the usual Cebuano into, into English and Tagalog because we already have people coming from the Tagalog area that are joining with us already. So it's amazing. No? I never thought that it could really be possible to do and expand the business nationwide. And in fact, there are even times that we are shared by our partners outside of the country. Um, today, I think they're not yet in, but most of the time they are actually in. No? We have people from Bahrain, we have people from Qatar, we have people from Kuwait, from Saudi Arabia. We have we already have agent from from Norway. Uh, we also have an agent from the United States. Now these are already product of our expansion here from the Philippines. So I would encourage each and every one of you, if you have contacts, people that are interested to do the business even outside the country, please do so. No, please do so. There is nothing impossible right now with the technology with, we are facing. In fact. Ito lang ho, uh, heads up ko lang kayo. Be ready kasi ang online daw, ito na ho yun ang bagong normal. So we may be shifting to GCQ but we're still gonna be doing online because safety is still at utmost priority. So we're still gonna do some uh, social distancing. There's gonna be some limits to the people or to the exposure. In fact, there is even a special mention that big gatherings are still not yet possible. So definitely, we cannot still hold a physical seminar. We are still not able to do probably some physical actual PKS or even any other events for that matter. And I think most of the time we will still be here on, on the internet. That's the reason why I would like to encourage each and every one of you to really strengthen your online facilities. No, um, If if there's a possibility to, to have a good and a better connection in the future, please do so. It would really mean a big help, actually. So aside from that, I would certainly encourage each of your downlines to please contact them. Tell them. Make them download Zoom. It's going to be one of the most important applications that they need to have in their phones. No? I know they have a lot of applications there, but this is one of those. Zoom is one of the most usable tools that we will be using, not just us, but I guess that the developers also are shifting towards there. So meaning, um, it's no longer an option whether you will be here. It's going to be part of everything that we will going to be here. So inform your downline. Don't just 
chat them. Don't just text them. You call them. Explain to them. Make them make them understand the value of being in Zoom so that uh, they will be compelled to really, you know, download, uh, download uh, the application. Okay? So tomorrow we will have our business orientation. Unfortunately, we will not be shared by developers because it's a holiday. Now, May 1 is a holiday. And jokingly, <laughs> jokingly, uh, they said that May 1 is a holiday because it's a Bohol Fiesta, the beginning of Bohol Fiesta. But actually, tomorrow is a holiday because it's Labor Day. It's celebrated nation, I mean, worldwide. It, it had become a worldwide celebration. So May 1, we don't, uh, we don't have a guest um, developer, but we are going to have a guest developer coming uh, by, by Saturday. And at, actually, we're going to have two. Uh, they are actually coming from uh, Misamis Oriental. Uh, Miss Occidental, I'm sorry. I think it's Misamis Occidental. They are actually coming from uh, Valencia and Malaybalay Bukidnon. They will be shared by two projects, actually, from Valencia and Malaybalay Bukidnon. So that's going to be exciting because we already have a lot of agents in, in Bukidnon area. In fact, one of the downlines of Nobilin was made as, was able to make a sale in Bukidnon. Okay? And, and also in Cagayan de Oro, we made a sale coming from Nobilin's group. And also in Butuan, they made also a, a sale coming from... from the, these are product of what we are doing for over the past uh, months in the, in the internet. That's the reason why I always encourage you to, to invite your prospect, no? Um, I think that was the other day. The other day, I was talking to one uh, to one of our agent, Giliena. Uh, Gil, uh, uh, I forgot. Uh, Jane Giliena. No, Jane Giliena. And and I talked to her over the phone. We did talk personally because I've noticed that uh, she's very active. But and and I asked her. I asked her if if she was able to attend uh, our our seminars here in. In, in the PPI, if she was able to understand the marketing plan, and, and she said na she was not, she wasn't because uh, wala pa, hindi pa daw siya nakapag connect sa, sa Zoom. Sabi ko, you facilitate, you try to be connected with Zoom because it is another thing that you understand how the business works. It is also another thing that you know how to sell. There's no problem with selling. I always say this. There's no problem with selling. There are too many projects to sell. The more you attend PKS. The more you attend in every session of those PKS, the more you will be uh, skillful in selling, the more you are sharpened in terms of selling. Because in real estate selling, I, to be honest, uh, to be honest, there's not much to learn except, uh, except the digitalization of, of this industry. But when it comes to the physical selling itself, there's not much to learn except that you need to have a thorough information. As long as you have the information, it would be possible for you to close a sale. But if you don't have the information, that is totally impossible for you to have a sale. So it will always begin with a PKS. That's the reason why we're feeding, 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 feeding more PKS. It is in the PKS that your mind will be framed up. And therefore, as, at the moment it frames up, you start to think differently. Now, the skill part, you're going to learn it eventually. Now, the posting in Facebook. Book, the posting in Twitter, in Instagram. Eventually, you're gonna you're gonna learn that. Yesterday, we were joined by Property Twenty Four. We're introducing you tools. Now it's up to you if, if you're gonna use those tools. I, I would highly suggest you use the tools because tools can make things faster. Without the tools, gaya ng gaya ng gaya ng magtayo ka ng bahay. Can you imagine building a house without even one single tool? It's gonna be totally impossible. And if you can. It's gonna be totally quite long, no? Ang tagal kaya bago matapos yan, kung matapos. So meaning, if you wanna, if you wanna speed up things, you've got to have some tools, okay? So isa po yan. Then, uh, as we approach May, uh, we're still gonna be here and we're still gonna be doing more of our uh, seminars. We're still gonna be doing more of our, uh, should I say, more uh, PKS. But at the same time, um, we will going to be sharpening your mind. If you notice, all throughout the week, we, we have PKS, we have business seminar, um, we have some few skills training. But at the same time, right now, we're touching on the leadership matters. Why? 
because we believe that this business is a leadership business. He who is able and capable to lead will be able to enjoy a good and substantial income. That's what we believe here. On the other part, we are starting also a series on motivation because we believe that not unless the mind and the heart is well motivated to do this business, this business will not go any further. No? So hanggang dito lang yan, hanggang pakinig lang yan, pag hindi ho tama ang motivation. That is the reason why we encourage everyone to be in the motivation zone. We encourage you, together with your downline, to be in the motivation zone. We set aside Thursday as motivation zone. We prepared everything, if you notice it, in every seminar or in every webinar session. There will always be a video that will help you start thinking. In fact, over the past one week, we, feature, we featured actually Steve Jobs. Today, we're going to dissect, no? We're going to dissect or himay-himayin natin yung mga statements na nilabas niya. What are the things that we can learn from Steve Jobs? The other week, we were actually exposing ourselves to the video of Robert Kiyosaki. Next week, we're going to have another video for our learning session. Now, all of these are very important. Never consider this to be not important. Everything that you are going to do in order, in order to improve yourself, always remember, always, take note, always remember, it will be useful at any given period. I don't know when and I don't know where, but as long as you have it here and in here, you will be able to use that when the need arises or when the crisis demands for it. So in short, we will pursue, we will continue to plan out. We are actually laying down everything of our schedules. In fact, I'm fixing my schedule for May. Anytime soon, I'm going to up that on, on our GCs, on our group chat, so that you will be uh, guided accordingly. And we're preparing everything. No, We are always right at the forefront of planning. We believe that if there are plans, there are steps that we are going to make. It's better that we have to plan for it so that all of you can also prepare. Okay? So today we're going to dissect what Steve Jobs had been saying. Now, always remember that the more your mind is sharpened, the more your heart is strengthened. The level of understanding to everything will always begin, not from the heart, but always begins from the mind. Our mind will always dictate the kind of action that we are going to take. It will dictate even the responses to whatever emotion that we are going to have. A lot of people actually easily get discouraged, not because, not because for any other reason, but because their mind is not fed well. Okay. A lot of people, again, ha, I'll say this. A lot of people actually is discouraged, not for any other reason, but they are discouraged because they feel they fail to feed their mind. The more you feed your mind, the more it becomes healthy. And the more healthy it becomes, the more stronger it becomes. It will always begin with feeding your mind. And that's the reason why we always endeavor to spend time learning. Okay? So, ito na po. Flash ko balik sa screen. Okay, ho. So, reviewing what Steve Jobs have said or have shared. The first, there were actually three stories that he did share. No, Tatlong bagay lang yung Shinier niya actually. Una ho, sabi niya, it was all about connecting the dots. Now, as I listen to as I listen to his story, his story was really an amazing story. I was even uh, sabi ko pa nga sarili ko, sayang yung unang tao na gustong mag-adapt sana sa kanya na opted and changed the mind of that couple that instead of adapting Steve Jobs, adapted someone else. If he could have adapted Steve Jobs, he could have been the, the wealthiest couple today. No, but looking, looking at it, there are no such a thing as coincidence in this world. 
Everything happens for a reason. The Lord Jesus said, there is nothing new under the sun. Everything just simply goes back, back, over and over again. Now, as much as God is sovereign, when we say God is sovereign, meaning He sees everything and He knows everything. He even knows even the time that you're going to wake up and even the time that you're going to sleep. He knows every single person that you're going to be in contact with. He knows exactly what are the things that you're going to be doing even before it will actually happen. Ganun ho yun. No? So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng nandito sa lupa ay ordained by God. Ho. So, meaning, it will always be connected somewhere and somehow. We just don't know how are we going to connect that. Now, connect Thing, no? Connecting will always entail or even endeavor yung tinatawag natin na belief level or yung trust level. Um, hold on us. I sorry, I just closed the door. Anyway, um, let's go back. Now, when in ma in matters of connecting, no, in matters of connecting, there is one simple element there that you need to have, knowing and trusting that all of these dots in our life, all of that situation, on the things that we are in, will somehow be connected at a certain point. Now, I always move to believe that there is no coincidence that you are here with the PPI. You are actually ordained and planned by God to be here right at the PPI, right at this time, right at this very moment. That it is ordained by God that you will form, that you will form part of your future here in our company and not in other, in other places. No? By the way, if you have headset, it's going to be best if you have headset so that you can have uh, a good audio. Now, next, you've got to examine yourself. You've got to search within your heart what are the things that really interest you. Ano ba ang mga bagay-bagay na interesado ka? Kaya always, I always say this uh, in a lot of uh, meetings and a lot of webinars we have. Our value system will always dictate the kind of action that we are going to have. Kung ano ho yung situation, kung paano ho tayo pinalaki dun sa mga kanya-kanyang bahay ho natin, Kung ano yung mga value system na tinuturo ng mga parents in o natin, yun po ang magiging set of values that will greatly determine the kind of action that you're going to take in any form and endeavors of your life. Kaya nga ho, malaking role na i-play kung ano yung mga value system na natutunan mo sa bahay. Una ho, gaya ng disiplina. Ang disiplina ho ay hindi yan nakukuha sa labas. Una ho, nakukuha yan sa loob ng bahay. At na develop yan as a set of values. It will always begin right at the forefront of your home. It will never be somewhere else. Kaya nga, importante yan eh. Number two ho. Kailang, maliban sa disiplina ho, kailangan ho natin dito sa negosyo natin ang sipag. Ang sipag ho ay hindi yan nakukuha sa labas din. Una ho, makukuha yan sa loob ng bahay. How we are brought up, how we are trained, how we are cultured by our parents, ganun ho tayo paglaki. Lahat ng bagay ho, lahat, etong tinatawag natin na mga sipag at tiyaga, lahat po to ay nakukuha natin unang-una sa bahay po. Where we were raised up, that's where we get it. Now, we, we have a lot of parents here with us, actually, uh, I mean, on, in the organization, uh, this is this is a realization that 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 I have that that yung sipag pala ay hindi yan makukuha later on it has to be built right from the very home kailangan ho umpisahan dun so yung set of values na meron tayo yun ho ang magbitbit sa atin kung saan tayo papupunta kaibigan ito yun po examine yourself 
You ask yourself, tingnan mo yung sarili mo. Tingnan mo yung sarili mo at tanungin mo sa sarili mo, ano ba ang meron ako na mga set of values na kailangan kong i-develop at saka i-nurture? Maliban sa disiplina at sipag, what are other values that needs to be brought right from the very home? Persistence. Oh. Ang pagpapursige. Persistence is not developed outside again. It is developed right from our very own home. Kaya nga, dito sa DPPI, nag-endeavor ho tayo na mag-set aside ng days wherein we got to do some learning session like this because we've noticed it that when we were young, nung bata pa ho tayo, etong mga ganito ay hindi natin nakukuha kadalasan sa mga parents to natin. Kaya nga, sinusupplement natin ngayon eh. Ang kahirapan lang ngayon because we already have our own sets of habits that we really got to fight for that in order for us to really make it rolling. So, hindi pa ho masamang umpisahan. Pwede pa ho natin umpisahan at pwede pa ho natin i-correct. Yung persistence ho ay na-develop yan sa loob ng bahay. Kung gusto nyo po na ganun din ang mga anak nyo, umpisahan mo sa sarili mo. Huwag mong tingnan ang ibang tao. Umpisahan mo sa sarili mo. Kung may mga bagay-bagay ka na nakapag-interest sa'yo, ipursigi mo yan. Ang lahat na yan ay matutunan mo. Lahat na yan ay eventually magiging master ka. Mag-uumpisa lahat yan sa, pag sa pagpursigi. Sabi nila, ay maganda siguro, Jove, pag uh, dito sa real estate, pag mar ma Mar ma marunong ako sa internet medyo kabisado ko yung ano uh, internet para medyo may alam ako sa mga digital marketing alam mo ang daming may alam ng digital marketing sa labas ang dami kong kakilala na magaling ho sa internet may mga kaibigan pa nga ako na mga IT eh ang dami ho pero nung kinausap ko sila patungkol sa real estate anong sagot? Gaya ng sagot ng mga in-invite nyo, wala rin. Bakit ho? Kasi, hindi nila naintindihan ang value nun. Kasi, lahat ho yung success mentality ay manggagaling ho yan dito. Hindi ho yan manggagaling sa set of skills na meron ka. Manggagaling ho yan right from the very start dito sa utak ho natin. Ang dami hong magaling. Ang dami hong magaling na kahit papano ho, magaling lang. Pero pag in-invite mo sa ganitang-ganitong negosyo natin, wala. Bakit? Kasi ito, hindi ho na-sharpen. Kasi ho ito, hindi na-condition. Doon sa video na pinanood natin, Sinabi ni Steve Jobs na hindi siya naka-graduate. In fact, drop out pa nga siya. No? Pero somehow, there has always been reason why God had placed him on that level. Kung naalala mo dun sa video, nag-enroll siya ng calligraphy class. Hindi niya maintindihan kung saan ang gamit nun at ang value nun nang nag-enroll siya ng calligraphy class. But somehow, he loves it. He drops the subject that he doesn't love, he doesn't like, and pursue and enroll the subject that he loves to enroll. At isa ho doon ay eto, calligraphy class. Hindi niya maintindihan kung saan ang magiging value niyan later on. Hindi niya maintindihan kung saan niya pwedeng gagamitin niyan later on. Pero alam niyo, looking back at it years later, may gamit pala. Kaya nga, ako, hindi sa ano ha, I am using a Mac laptop. I'm using an Apple laptop. I also have tried using a non-Apple laptop. There is really a beautiful typography with a, with, with a Mac, with the Apple laptop. Doon ko naintindihan ngayon na dahil pala napakaganda ng, ng topography ng Mac, it was because that Steve Jobs was able to enroll in a calligraphy class. 
No, it is somewhat different types of science, itong calligraphy, that allows a perfect distancing among letters. Perfect distance. Hindi ho social distancing. Perfect distance among letters. Ganun ho ang, ang, ang science ng calligraphy. So, ito yung sabi niya. Ang sabi ni Steve Jobs, it was impossible to connect the dots looking forward. Ha? Sabi ha? Take note of that. It is impossible to connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. You can only connect them looking backwards. Wala hong... Ano ba to sa Tagalog ang sulagma? No? Wala hong chance na nangyari sa buhay natin. Minsan ho, may mga, may mga darating sa panahon natin na hindi natin maintindihan. Baka sabihin mo sa sarili mo diyan, ba't ba ako do? Ba't ba ako sumali dito sa DPPI? Nakakasawa tong seminar ni Jofrin. Ah, uh, napaka-OE, napaka-OE tong seminar ni Jofrin, mastermind mastermind ko no. Oh. Napaka-OE, napaka-OE talaga. Motivate, motivate. Oh. Ang gusto ko lang benta, 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 benta. Wala akong paki-alam ng iba. Benta, benta, benta lang. OE, OE kayo. OE. Pwedeng gayuhin, pwedeng ganon. But I always move to believe and understand that not until your mind is changed the way you think, the way you act, the way you move, nothing will really change in the output of our lives. Wala hong patutunguhan yan. Marami na ho akong nakitang magaling magbenta. Sa, sa sampung taon, sa sampung taon ko na nasa in industry na to, marami na po akong nakitang magaling magbenta. At marami na rin akong nakita na magaling magbenta, magaling pa sa technology, magaling pa sa internet, pero walang binatbat sa negosyo na to. Marami na ho akong nakita. Kaya hindi ho ako kumbinsido na ang galing lang ang makapagpa-improve ng tao. Hindi ho ako kumbinsido na ang makapag-asenso ng tao ay galing lang. Kailangan ho natin ng ibang different level ng motivation. Okay? Kaya nga ini-encourage ko sa inyo eh, kung gusto niyo mag-succeed sa life, mag-attend kayo ng mag-attend ng kahit anong seminar. Kung nagsawa kayo sa boses ko, maghanap kayo ng ibang maatinan. Na kung saan kayo pwedeng makakuha ng magandang aral. Kasi habang natutunan natin ang mga magagandang aral, yun ho ay lumalakas ang ating loob na iabutin yung mga pangarap po natin. So, Etong sabi niyo, it was impossible to connect the dots looking forward, you can only connect them looking backwards. Minsan sa buhay natin, paglingon natin, doon natin maintindihan, kaya pala dumating itong mga tao na to sa buhay ko. Kasi ito palang mga tao na to ang tutulong sa akin para maabot yung mga pangarap ko. May mga situation po ba sa life niyo na medyo nagtaka kayo kung bakit, para ano ba to? Para saan ba to? Bakit ako nandito? Ba't ko to ginagawa? And only to find out later on and when you realize something in your life, that when you look back in your life and you get to see what had happened in your life and there you will begin to say to yourself, that's the reason why na dumaan ako sa mga ganun na mga pagsubok kasi po, piniprepare tayo ni Lord sa mas maganda pang mga, mga bagay-bagay na mangyayari sa atin. Minsan hindi natin naiintindihan kasi hindi natin nakikita kung ano yung nasa unahan. Pero pagdating natin in the distant future, Pagdating natin sa unahan at lumingon tayo, doon natin ma-appreciate ang mga bagay-bagay at makikita natin ang ganda pala na nangyari na dumaan ako sa mga pagsubok na ganon kasi naging ganito ako ngayon dahil sa mga challenges na yan. Hindi po ba napakagandang storya? Kaya nga sabi ko sa, sabi ko sa inyo eh, dito ho sa DPPI, you make your story. The harder your life becomes before you reach the success, the more the most beautiful story that you're going to create. Ganun ho kaganda ang storya ng buhay mo pag ganun kahirap ang dinaanan mo. Pag walang kahirap-hirap ho, walang istorya diyan. 'Di ba? Pag walang kahirap-hirap ang dadaanan mo sa pag-abot ng mga pangarap mo, walang istorya diyan. And somehow, we can only connect the dots looking backwards. And sabi ni Steve Jobs, you have to trust on something. Your gut, your destiny, your life, 
or even ask yourself, God. The reason why you can trust on whatever things that you're going to be doing as you move forward, because you've got to trust on something. That somehow, those actions that you are taking, those dots, no, those dots, sabihin na lang natin, yun ang dots. Those actions that you are taking will somehow lead you to something better. And every decision that you're going to take and every action that you're going to make, just trust your God, trust your destiny, trust life, trust God that something, whatever this one is going to or going through, trust it that somehow it would lead to something and much greater and much better in your life. Kailangan, kailangan mo lang maniwala, kaibigan. Kailangan mo lang maniwala. Ang tanong, where do you put your trust? Again, where do you put your trust? Because if you put your trust something on not on, on something that is not dependable, you will easily be shaken. If you put your trust on something no, na hindi mo kaya or pwedeng sandalan, believe me or not, you will be shaken. You will be shaken. And the only thing I can really recommend unto, in all of you is to trust God. Trust God that is going to do something good for you. Trust God that is not going to do anything that will damage you. Trust God that is not going to do anything that will destroy you. Trust God that, that things will turn out the way you want it. Learn to depend on Him. He knows exactly what is ahead of us. As much as we don't know what's ahead of us, I certainly believe that God perfectly knows what's up there waiting for us. Again, but you've got to start knowing God for you to trust God. No? You've got to start know, you've got to start to know God in order for you to trust God. Diba? Hindi ka naman, hindi ka naman magbibigay ng, ng trust level mo sa taong hindi mo kalalay. And I, I always suggest Know the person, that's the way that you can trust the person. Know God so that you can trust God. The reason why a lot of people don't trust God, it's because they don't know God. Ganun lang ho. Iba, iba ho yung kilala lang. Uh, ay, alam ko yung pangalan niya, si God siya, si Jesus siya. You've got to know Him so that for you to trust Him. Di ba? Let's go to the next statement of Steve Job. Believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart. Believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart. Tama ho. Kasi, pag wala ka nung kumpiyansa na yun, wala ka, yung, wala ka ng trust level na ganun, you will never be able to move forward. And ano ang mangyayari? Ay, Ay, ayaw ko niyan, ay, ay, hindi ako dyan, hindi ako mag invest niyan. Gani, gaya nito. We've been telling you, we've been sharing this to you, that you invest on Property24 because it can help you um, make a sale. Subukan nyo to kasi makakatulong to, yo, to sa inyo na makapagbenta kayo. Pero takot tayo. Ay, baka pag nag-avail ako, wala, wala akong benta. O anong, anong tawag doon? Ay, baka mag-avail ako, sayang lang, hindi ako makapagbenta. Anong tawag doon? Believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart. And I have always trained myself to work on those instincts. That I, all, I am always the person who always moves forward. There are already a lot of times that this company was challenged. There are already a lot of moments that even I myself was even on the verge, uh, was even on the verge of being kicked out on my own very company. And I was just 
listening to Steve Jobs, and I was smiling. I was smiling at it because I perfectly have felt what he had felt. There was even a time that I was already right at the edge of this company, only usan, isang, isang tajak na lang, and I am out of the company that I have started. No? May mga may mga pioneers tayo dito ngayon eh na, na join with us na nandito sina si si Cham, sina si sina si Mel. And and dami nila dito and they have witnessed that that I am almost been kicked out of this company. But I always say to myself that I just have simply have to learn to trust to keep and moving forward. And be able to gain the confidence of what we have right now. We are not an old company. We are not yet a big company. But we are getting there. We are not like the giant realty firm outside that you can see. But we are getting there. And when we get there, when we become the giant in the industry, we will be a different giant. Because we will be a giant that have a clear perspective in life. And we will be the kind of giant that has the heart. And we will gonna set ourselves apart from the rest of the realty firm because we will be developing on people. We will focus on developing every single person here in the PPI. And we are true to that commitment even the time that when we were starting yet. Even the time up to today, we never wavered on our commitment on developing people. We never wavered no? on this, in this agenda on developing you to become business leaders. Turning you to who you will become one of these days. Hindi ho nag-iba ang direksyon ng kumpanya. That's why we always have moved forward. No? Next. Ito pag-usapan natin to. No? Ito yung second point ni Steve Jobs. Um, love and lost. No? And sabi niya dyan, I have been rejected, but I was still in love. Statement, no? I have been rejected. Magbigay ako ng example nito. The first time I I joined real estate as an agent, kasi atong kompanya natin two years palang, but I started as a real estate agent. When I first attended my real estate seminar 10 years ago, and during that time, I was just starting because I was working with Pepsi-Cola. And the first time I attended the seminar in real estate, hindi ko medyo naintindihan. I never really fully grasped the entire idea of, of real estate. So what I did is that when there are schedule of uh, seminars, uh, mga PKS, mga trainings, at kung iba-iba pa, um, I always make into a point that I will attend. And there are sessions that are done on a night time. Uh, so, maka-attend ako. And there are sessions that are done on weekends. So, I always make my weekends available for for those seminars. So, I attended. Kasi medyo, the first time I attended a seminar, I really, really don't know, to be honest, I really, really don't know what I'm gonna do. So, I, I just keep on attending. Um... I was recruited by someone, but that someone was an absentee someone. Juliet and I, we were in the we were in the business because after I was recruited, I asked her to join with me. And we were there together. And we don't have upline, a physical upline who will coach us, who will tell us, who will guide us, who will do training like this, who will do motivations like this. We don't have. And I said to myself, our life and our decisions in life, whether we're going to do this or not, is not actually dependent on the upline's agenda. It will be dependent on my, on our agenda. So I said, whether naas, whether my meron siya or nanjan siya or wala, we have to keep doing what we are doing and we have to keep moving what we are uh, supposed to do. So, yun, aten ako. Aten ako ng mga seminar. Aten ako ng mga skills training. 
aten ako ng mga mga sessions and I always make myself available talaga. I always make myself available. Hanggang sa little by little, ang una ko talagang naramdaman. Hindi ko po, hindi ko po naramdaman na gumal, na magaling ako magbenta. Hindi po 'yon. Ang una ko pong naramdaman ay na in love ako sa negosyo na to. I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the idea, I fell in love with the industry, I fell in love with subdivision houses, I fell in love with condominium, I fell in love with the real estate business. I just fell in love with it. And just like any person that feels in love, he keeps thinking about it. Yang yang kanta na hindi makakain at hindi maka, hindi makatulog. Alam mo tama yan. Kasi pag in love ka, hindi ka makakain, hindi ka makatulog sa kaiisip. Tama ba? Oh, kasi kung tama yan, oh, kung totoo kung toto yan, you must have felt that at a certain point in your life. Ang tanong po ba dyan, na in love na po ba kayo? Na in love na ba kayo? Oh, walang nag-smile. Oh. Kasi kung na in love na kayo, you've had really, you really have felt that. Now, when you feel in love, when I felt in, when I felt the love with the industry, akala inyo, akala inyo, friends, even if kumakain ako, iniisip ko yung PKS. Abang kumakain ako, iniisip ko yung project, yung house. Habang kumakain ako, iniisip ko yung lot area, floor area. Habang natutulog ako, iniisip ko yung bahay, condominium. Lahat ho, iniisip ko every single day. Maligo man ako, nag-iisip ako, sino kaya ang kakausapin ko na prospect? Sino kaya ang bebentahan ko? Ganun mo ang nangyari nung na-in love ako sa industry na to. Ibig sabihin ho, it will consume you. It will consume you. The time that you were in love, o oh, ito ha, ito. Di ba nung time na in love ka? Nung time na in love ka, nakakatawa tong, ano eh, nakakatawa tong, statement na to. But I always say this. Uh, sabihin ko na lang sa Cebuano kasi maganda sa Cebuano pagpakinggan eh. Sabi nila, pag na-in love daw, love is blind. Bungol pa dyan. Uh, ulitin ko ha. Love is blind. Bungol pa dyan. Bakit to? Kahit, kasi kahit, kahit anong mga criticism na pipintasan yung taong mahal mo, Ipaglalaban mo yan. Kahit sabihin mo na wag yan kasi walang, wala kang, walang kwenta yan. Wag yan kasi wala kang future dyan. Wag yan kasi pangit yan. Hindi ka makikinig. Hindi ka maniniwala. Bakit to? Kasi in love ka. Tama ba? So, hindi lang yan, hindi lang yan bulag. Bingi pa yan. Tama? Hindi lang yan bulag. Bingi pa yan. Kahit sabihin, kahit sabihan ka na, uy, alam mo, yung boyfriend mo, na nakita ko, may kasamang ibang babae doon, naghalikan pa. Oh. But the first time marinig mo yan, in love na in love ka, sa tingin mo, maniniwala ka? Hindi. In fact, aawayin mo pa yung tao na nags nagsabi sa'yo, eh, selos ka lang. Ah, inggit ka lang kasi wala kang nobyo. Sasabihan mo ganun. Bakit o? Kasi in love ka. Kahit gaano'ng pintas, kahit gaano'ng sabihin na alam mo yung yung boyfriend mo babaero yon, hindi ka maniniwala. Bakit? Kasi in love ka. Tama ba? O sige. You raise your hand pag tama. Tama ba? O, yan, tama. Tama yan. Bakit hindi niyo pwedeng magawa dito sa negosyo na maging in love kayo dito sa negosyo na gaya ng in love ng totoong tao na maging baliw kayo na kahit anong discouragement na gawin sa iyo hindi ka bibitaw sa negosyo na to? 'Di ba? Kasi pag bibitaw ka sa negosyo na to, isa lang ang ibig sabihin. You are not yet in love with this business. Pag bibitaw ka, pag nadi-discourage ka, pag pinapakinggan mo ang mga sinasabi ng ibang tao, hindi ka pa in love sa negosyo na to. Bakit hindi ka in love? Kasi ang taong in love, 
gusto niya parating makasama. Ang taong in love, gusto niya parating ang kausap. Tama po ba? Ulitin ko ha. Ang taong in love, gusto niya makasama parate. Ang taong in love, gusto niya kausap niya parate. Tama ba? Raise your hand if tama. Tama yan. Pero ikaw, gusto mo ba parati kang nag-attend ng seminar? Gusto mo ba parati kang nag-attend ng mga na mga PKS? Gusto mo ba na parati kang nag-attend ng mga seminars na gaya nito? Or at kung ano-ano bang session? Kasi kung gusto mo, mahal mo. Pero hindi mo gusto, hindi mo mahal. O, tanungin mo yung sarili mo pagkatapos. In love ka na ba sa negosyo na to? When Steve Jobs was kicked out of the company that he built, Apple, what keeps him moving forward on things that he needs he's going to do is the thing that he loves to do. Ano yung gusto niyang gawin? Ano yung gusto na kaya niyang ipaglaban lahat? He, he loves what he he did with Apple. Siya yung genius ng Apple. Eh. Siya yung brain ng Apple. Siya yung, siya yung gumawa ng Apple. So, nung na-kick out siya ng Apple, ang ginawa niya uli, nag siya. He started right from the very beginning, from scratch. That's why he was able to build Next. That's why he was able to build Pixar. And these are the company that turned out to be great. Alam mo bakit binili ng Apple ang Next? Kasi nakita ng Apple na threat si Next. Yun ang entire story dun. No? When, when, I, when I get to, to, to dig upon it. The reason why Apple bought Next because Apple executive look at Next, the company that Steve Jobs built right after he was kicked out of Apple. Apple look at Next to be the threat on the in, on the business of Apple. So Apple, without any hesitation, moved to purchase Next. Binili niya ng Next. Para wala na talagang kompetensya, etong program ng Next inilagay doon sa right at the heart of Apple. Lahat ng mga Apple products ngayon, cellphone, iPads, laptops, lahat ho yan, ang technology dyan, the heart of that actually comes from Next. Nilagay dyan sa Apple, kaya naging ganyan yan. Binili ni Apple si Next kasi threat. Gumawa si Steve Jobs ng isang animated studio. Ito yung Pixar. Binili din. Bakit? Kasi napakaganda. And it, they have viewed it as a, as a threat. Now looking at the connecting of the dots, even du during the time that Steve Jobs was out, you know what? Dito ko nag napagsipisip ba? Nakik out siya sa Apple. The very company that he started. It could have been a devastation on his part, but because he loves what he do, what what is what because he loves what he's doing, he started a company right from the very start. But part of the connecting the dots, it was actually naging out siya na the company para mahanap ni Steve Jobs yung wife niya, para mamit niya yung wife niya. Kasi kung hindi siya na wala o na kick out don sa sa Apple, he would never have met his wife. That his wife could be his partner when he goes through in the difficult time of his life. Nung nagka-cancer siya. So may, nakikita niyo yung connecting the dots? How the dots were connected? But again, the reason why Steve Jobs can repeat it over and over again, kahit gano pa siya, ilang bagsak na mangyayari, kahit ilang failure na mga mangyayari, kahit ilang discouragement ang darating sa buhay niya, kaya niyang tumayo at tumayo at tumayo uli. Bakit ho? Kasi in love siya sa ginagawa niya. Pero ikaw, magno lang yung kliyente mo, ayaw mo na agad. Pag nag-post ka, walang nag-like, ayaw mo na agad. 
Pag nag-post ka na walang nag-inquire, ayaw mo na agad. Isa lang ang sagot ko dyan. Hindi ka in love sa negosyo na to. Kasi pag in love ka sa negosyo na to, hindi ka aayaw. Tama po ba? Kaya nga, I, always, I, will, I will always say this. The more you attend seminars, the more you attend trainings, the way, the, the way you keep yourself available in all times, it will help you in the process of making this industry na maging in love ka sa industry na to. Because that's the only thing I did. I keep on attending every single seminar there is available on the industry, even up to today. Even up to today, I still endeavor to attend seminars that will help me fall in love with the business time and time and time and time again. That is the reason why even if you if you're going to see me conduct a seminar na isang tao lang ang attendance at isang isang daan ang attendance, yung excitement level ko pareho. Bakit ho? Because my love will never change regardless of situation and circumstances. Kahit isang tao na kinig dyan, or isang daang tao na kinig dyan, yung love ko sa industry na to, hindi ako magbabago. Saglit ah. Okay, sorry. The things that I'm doing in this business is not dictated by situations. This is not dictated by current challenges. That is not even dictated by difficulties that we're going to be facing. Because I'm in love with this business. So, para maging in love kayo, ah, walang ibang paraan, kaibigan. Umpisahan mo na mag-aten, nang mag-aten, nang mag-aten, nang mag-aten. Kasi walang ibang way ho. Sabi ni Steve Job, nagawa ko yun because I still love what I did. I still love what I did. Nagawa niya ang next, nagawa niya ang Pixar, kasi love niya ang ginagawa niya. Gusto niya ang ginagawa niya. Alam mo, ang taong in love, hindi napapagod yan. Tama ba? Ang taong in love, hindi napapagod yan. Can you remember the days can you remember the days when you were when you were right at your first love? Kahit pagod na pagod ka, magkakausap na mag, makipag-usap sa telephone na dati wala pa kasing text eh. Pag nag- grabe, hanggang hating gabi nag-uusap sa phone. Grabe, ah, hanggang hanggang hating gabi. Tapos pag babay na, sige na, babay na. Oh, you first. Oh, sige na, babay na. Babay na ha. Oh, Tapos hindi pa ilala, hindi pa ilalapag. Bakit? Kasi nandiyan pa sa kabila eh. Babay na. Sige na, babay. Babay ha, babay. Hindi tal hindi talaga ma, ma, malapag-lapag kasi in love eh. gusto pang mag-usap. Ganun ho pag na-in love kayo dito. Ganun ho pag na-in love kayo. Alam mo katawa-tawa to, pero totoo ito eh. This is real life, my friends. This is real life. I love what I did. I love real estate. If if I'm going to do over, if, if, I'm, if, going, if I'm going to do, I'm still going to choose real estate. If I am given the chance to redo my life, I'm still going to do real estate. Bakit ho? It is in this industry that I am really fascinated with what it can really do to all of us. Number three, ito yung last. Ito yung last. Pag-usapan natin yung death. Okay, death. If today were the last day of my life, sabi ni Steve Jobs, ah, if today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I am about to do today? Ganda ng statement, no? 
Kung itong araw na to ay last day mo na, ano ba, gagawin mo ba ang dapat mong gawin na dapat gawin mo today? Simple lang message nito eh. Do not procrastinate. Yung procrastination na word na yan, deadly yan. Ano ba yung procrastination, Jof? Cake ba yan? Ano yung procrastination? Makakain ba yan? Ano yung procrastination, Jof? Juice yan? Sa simpleng dialogue ho, yung procrastination is yung attitude na mamaya na. Ito yung attitude ng procrastination na mamaya na, saka na, sa Bisaya, unya na lang, later na lang. Ganun po ba kayo? Mamaya na lang, unya na lang, later na lang? Procrastination yan. Ang pwede mong gawin today, gawin mo. Kung gusto mong mag-post ng isang project kasi gusto mong makabenta, huwag mong gawin bukas, gawin mo today. Kasi tomorrow ho is another day. Eh what if hindi ka gigising bukas? Okay lang job. Pag hindi ako gigising bukas, hindi naman ako nag-post. Hindi rin ako makapag-tripping. Ano klaseng mentalidad yan? Di ba? Ito yung sabi ni Steve Job. Remembering that I'll be dead soon. Ito yung sabi niya. I love this statement. Remembering that I'll be dead soon is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life. I like it, no? Remembering that I'll be dead soon is the most important tool that I've ever encountered to help me make the big choices in life. Maraming tao ho takot mag-design. Maraming tao na takot mag-pursigi sa life because... Sa tingin nila, sa sarili nila, habang buhay na buhay sila. O, ito yung realization. Hindi ho tayo habang buhay na buhay. Balang araw ho, mamamatay ho tayo lahat. Ano bang gusto, ng, ano bang gusto mong mangyari sa buhay natin? Namamatay tayo na walang kasilbi-silbi na sa mundong ito? O mamamatay tayo na meron tayong magawa na mabuti. Or mamamatay tayo na we will live a life of significance dito sa mundong na to. Na pagdating ng panahon na wala na tayo sa mundong na to, ay ma mare-remember tayo, maalala tayo ng bawat isang tao na naging inspiration tayo sa buhay nila. Kung ano man ang maabot mo dito sa real estate na to, na negosyo, kung maging super successful ka sa negosyo na to, alalahanin mo na binigay sa iyo ng Diyos yan para ikaw ay magiging inspirasyon sa bawat tao na makahalubilo mo. Na ikaw ay pinagpala para ikaw ay magiging source ng inspiration sa mga tao na nawalan na ng pag-asa sa buhay sa mundo na to. Kaya ikaw kaibigan, para maging may value yung buhay mo, Sikapin mo at ipursigin mo na maging successful tayo lahat dito sa real estate na negosyo natin. Bakit ho? Kasi yung kwento ng buhay mo ay magiging kwento sa bawat hinarasyon na papasok sa industry na to. Na balang araw may taong magsasabi, alam mo, dati, si Ch alam mo may apply na coach dati si Cham, ganito yon Alam mo si Cham, masipag yon Alam mo si Cham, parating nag aaten ng seminar yun. Alam mo si Cham, hindi nag-a-absent ng mga seminar yun. Alam mo si Cham, magaling yun. No? Ka kasi, nagbibuild yun ng negosyo. Alam mo si Cham, always nandyan yun. Pag, pag tinawag ko, pag kinonta ko, nandyan yun. At sasabihin ng tao na yun, na agent na yun, alam mo, si Cham yung pinakamagaling ko na upline. Kasi nag-build siya ng negosyo niya parati siyang nag aate ng seminar. Alam nyo, hindi nga siya nag absent kahit isang seminar eh. Gusto nyo ba na ganun ang kwento ng inspiration ng buhay mo? Or gusto mo ang kwento na maging ganito na, ay, napakawalang silbi na apply niyon. Niminsan, hindi ko nakita sa seminar. Gusto nyo ba ganun-ganun? 
Because if you if you know if you really understand that we don't have a lifetime to live, you're going to make your life great. You're going to make your life to have significance. Na magiging may impact, no? Na may impact. Tuloy tayo. Sabi ni Steve Show, your time is limited. Don't waste it living someone else's life. Ay, ang sakit nun, ha? Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Huwag mo daw sayangin na mabuhay no? oh? sa iba, sa ibang mindset, sa ibang mentalidad, na tumitingin sa ibang tao na gusto kong maging gaya niya, gusto kong maging... Gumawa ka ng buhay mo. Sigapin mo, naaangat ka, gagawa ka ng gagawa ng sarili mong mga, mga, mga iporsigi. The next, don't be trapped by dogma. Ayan, ganda no? Don't be trapped by dogma which is living with the result of others people thinking. Ay, ang sakit nun. Living with a dogma daw sa kaiisip na kung ano yung sinasabi ng ibang tao, yun ang pinapakinggan mo at yun ang pinapaniwalaan mo at yun ang isinabuhay mo. Living through other people's expectations. Living through other other people's thinking. Wala hong, wala hong maging magandang outcome yan. We live in somebody else's expectations. We live in somebody else's thinking. Ay, huwag ka nang sumali dyan. Alam mo, walang kumita dyan sa real estate. Yun ang thinking niya. Pero, pag ganun ka, pinapaniwalaan mo yung mentalidad niya, wala. You're not getting anywhere. So don't be trapped by dogma which is living with the result of other people's thinking. Ito, sabi rin niya, don't let the noise of others' opinion drone out your own inner voice. Huwag mong pakinggan yung opinion ng ibang tao na sa kapakikinig mo sa opinion ng ibang tao, hindi mo na naririnig yung sarili mong opinion. Kasi ang naririnig mo, opinion niya. Bakit? Siya ba ang nakinig ng seminar? Bakit siya ba ang nag-attend ng PKS? Bakit siya ba nag-attend ng training? Bakit siya ba nag-attend ng mastermind? Eh bakit ka, bakit ka sa kanya nakikinig? Ikaw yung nag-attend. Ikaw yung nag-seminar. Ikaw yung nag-training. Ikaw yung nag-mastermind. Ibig sabihin, ikaw ang may alam sa ginagawa mo. Hindi siya. Eh bakit siya yung pakikinggan mo? Ba't ka nakikinig sa mga, mga sinasabi ng tao na wala o hindi kumikita ang real estate? Eh baka siya, hindi, niya, hindi siya kumita. Kasi wala siyang ginawa. Pero, ang mga tao na nandito, kumita. Eh, ngayong araw, eh, yung araw, ngayong araw lang nga eh. May nag-post na agad sa Facebook may, na may nagbenta. Eh, anong tawag nyo doon? Di ba? Anong tawag nyo doon? Guni-guni? Hindi. Totoo yun. So, don't let the noise of others' opinion drone out your own inner voice. Ikaw yung may alam nito, hindi sila. Ayan. Have the courage to follow your heart. Ito yung last, no? It's sa notes ko, tinignan ko eh. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. Friends, as we end on this last statement of Steve Jobs, follow your heart. There's no any other person that can really decide the destiny that you are going to get into. 
No other person except you. You pray to God, you ask God, and you search your inner voice, your inner self. And whatever thing is that in your heart, pursue it. Work for it. Go and achieve it. There is no any other person that can make this thing happen except you and you and you alone. No one in this world has the right to dictate you. No one in this world has the right to even control you. But what you will become in this world will bring an influence to every person that surrounds you. Again, huh? who you will become in this world will bring influence to the person or to the people that surrounds you. Therefore, when our life is over, alam mo ano yung sasabihin ni Lord? Good and faithful servant. Nagampanan natin ang role na dapat nating gampanan. I said to myself, I don't want to die in this world that I will not, never able to live the life na gusto ng Panginoon na meron ako. A life of significance. And I had always been in search in my heart and I always, I, I'm always bought by God into this certain level that I am, I am and ought to live a life of significance. Kasi yun, yun, yun ng Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin. Ikaw ba? Gusto mong mag-live ng life with significance? Or gusto mo ng life na insignificant na kahit patay ka na, hindi ka na maalala? Maraming salamat po sa pakikinig nyo, sa, sa pakik- pag, pagsama nyo sa, sa session na to. Sana ho na may mapulot kayo ng magandang aral. At sana ho, whatever things that you have learned and whatever things na, na natutunan ngay- natin ngayon, ay sana ho ma-apply natin sa mga kanya-kanyang buhay natin, hindi lang po patungkol sa negosyo, pati na rin ho sa sariling buhay at sa real life natin sa bawat pamilya, relative, katrabaho, at kung sino-sino pa na maging makahalubilo po natin. Alam nyo, wala hong imposible pag gawin natin, wala hong imposible pag ito ay uh, ipoprosigiho natin. Maganda ho ang nangyari sa mga tao dito sa real estate. At alam ko po, isa ka doon na one day maging successful. Before ho ako magtatapos, before po natin stop ang meeting na to, bukas ho, the same time, um, meron na tayong recruitment seminar. Lahat ng mga kakilala nyo, kaibigan, kakilala, kasama, kapitbahay, lahat ng KKK ho, imbitahan nyo doon sa mga gustong mag real estate agent, uh, doon sa seminar natin bukas. Yung ID natin pareho pa lang po, 575-262-7764 at yung password pa rin natin ay DPPI pa rin. Hindi ho yan magbabago kasi binili na natin yan. Uh, we purchase that ID number so fix na po yan. So bukas ho at 1.45 mag-umpisa na ho tayong mag-streaming para makapasok na ho sila at exactly 2pm mag-umpisa tayo doon sa uh, seminar. Of course again may mga series of video na map- mapakinggan kayo. So maraming salamat po at sana uh, may napulot kayo na magandang aral. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Stay in love. Oh, yeah.